mm-hmm. second half. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, they went small the second half for a, a large part. It became a one-on-one game, and we couldn't uh, guard the ball as well as they could. Um, bottom line, they scored 61. They got some runouts. Um, easy baskets in transition. Um, you know, we struggled. We got static. We stopped attacking the basket. And, um, yeah, just we're, we're not ourselves in the second half. I'm sure it's multiple games. Something singular that stands out that's correctable uh, that was disappointed in the way that the game. Unfolded. Yeah, I just I just think um, we weren't sharp enough. You know, we weren't sharp enough. We weren't competitive enough, even offensively, to take the ball to the basket. And you know, we turned it over. Um, you know, we we settled for difficult shots instead of playing with energy and pace and trying to get to the to the basket and. Uh, um, you know, struggled. Just kind of touch on this a little bit. The three-point shooting was that more of you guys going static? Was that anything they did defensively? Which which part? Uh, three-point shooting. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I think we settled for too many tough threes because we weren't going to the basket. You know, uh, they're they're playing without a rim protector, and we settled. So, you know, I think uh, you. You know, if we're, we're not playing with pace and you know, the, the ball finds energy or we're not attacking the paint, um, that's what you're going to get some nights is tough threes. And, uh, you know, I think that's why a big, big reason why we shot such a poor percentage. When they went small, that kind of late and the late going, um, in, in your mind, was that just a personnel issue? Was that just simply come down to guarding your men? Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes there's randomness in basketball. I mean, they, I don't know how many points they got from Ish Smith in the fourth quarter, but, uh, you know, he had a hot fourth quarter. We had a cold fourth quarter, and the game got away from us. And sometimes that just happens in the NBA. But uh, we still look at all the reasons, uh, you know, all the things that we could do better and improve on for sure. So James is obviously someone who's averaged, what, 10 free throw attempts per game for the better part of his career, um, four in games one and two, and just one attempt tonight. What are you seeing from him mm-hmm. in terms of, A, how he's maybe responding to the way the rule changes mm-hmm. has impacted his game? And is that kind of a problem when you have a guy who's kind of reliant in a way on getting to the line mm-hmm. who is now kind of unable to do so? Yeah, I think he's got to stick with it. You know, I, I, I feel like it, he's – unfairly become the poster boy of of not calling these fouls um, but some of them are definitely fouls still but they're just so alert and aware and he's the poster child of the of these new decisions that they're they're still i get it there's a line um uh, but some of them are still fouls so he's just got to stick with it he's got to keep going to the basket he's got to you know do what he does because the, a lot a large portion of them are still fouls and if he doesn't get fouls he can still make plays he can still finish and um, and pass and do all the things that he does. Um, so he's just got to continue as he, you know, finds his rhythm again after a very little basketball for, you know, half a year now. Uh, um, keep attacking and keep attacking. And, uh, you know, they're going to respect, you know, his skill level and his ability to get guys on his shoulder and, and get to the basket. Steve, what are you seeing exactly as far as um, plays that you think that are fouls or is it contact inside the paint or is it on the perimeter? It, it, it with James, uh, no, I think it's on the on the on the drive. You know, they're they're hyper aware of, of him reaching for guys' arms, but guys aren't set, and they're they're getting caught. You know, not in a legal guarding position, bumping him. You know, that's a foul. That has nothing to do with the hands. Those are the ones that I I, I take a little exception to. But James will get there. He'll get there, and uh, he he's gonna round into his shape and rhythm. You know, like I said, he's had a long, long layoff. And uh, I think they're hypersensitive to some of these things right now. And it usually goes back towards the middle. And, you know, we'll find a nice balance. All right, guys, thank you. Okay, thanks, everybody.